So in order to make connection, in order to start a remote connection securely to our server on a Mac or a Linux, you just need to open a terminal. And once you have a terminal, then you are going to type SSH. Your user ID on your Mac or Linux account may be different from your user ID on our machine. So in order to use the user ID on our EOS machine, then you need to say SSH minus L, your user ID, and I'm going to use mine, and the machine name that you want to connect to. So we do have uh, EOS 01 all the way to EOS uh, 24. So let's say I want to connect to EOS 15 or maybe 12, okay? And the fully qualified domain name of our machines are EOS something dot cis dot gvc dot edu, okay? So now, remember to include your user ID there. I mean the user ID on your uh, EOS machine. So now if we just type that, Okay, yes? Does it matter which one we connect to, which EOS machine? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? So, because I have connected to EOS 12 before, then you're not going to be asked for any further questions. Let me show you another example. When, for the first time you connect to a machine, uh, let's say I'm just trying to try a different one. Let me try it, uh, EOS 20. Okay? Now, Suddenly, I got a long message here, like a longer error message. The reason is because for secure connection, there is a fingerprint for the destination machine that has to match to whatever we used before, okay? Apparently, like maybe last year, I connected to EOS 20, okay? But then, uh, summer 2013, that server gets updated again, and when the server is updated, then a new fingerprint is generated for that machine. Okay? Apparently, what is recorded on my local file doesn't match the fingerprint on the remote side. Okay? So this is a common error that you will see whenever you are making connection uh, to a new machine. Okay? So what, ha what I have to do here, I need to delete the local copy of my fingerprint and uh, in order to do that, I'm going to update my SSH known host, and it tells me that something wrong with line line number eight. Okay, so it tells me like line number eight has to be updated, has to be deleted. So I'm going to delete. Uh, I'm going to delete line number eight from my file, and go to line eight, and then delete. And let me try that again. So. Let me clear the screen. Okay, so same. Okay, now this time I don't get the error, but it is asking for my confirmation whether this is the actual fingerprint of EOS 20. So how do we know? How do we know that this number is correct? So the hex code generated by the output is correct. So in order to check, in order to verify that this is indeed the right machine that you are connecting to. Then you have to go to our uh, uh, EOS website. So now if you go to the facilities link and uh, under facilities, there's another link to EOS and Arch Lab. And from there, there's another link to SSH, okay? And we tried to connect to EOS 20, right? So we, have, we want to make sure that whatever uh, hex code that you see in here exactly match, match what we have on uh, this table. So EOS 20, and we have two fingerprints for each machine, uh, and apparently I'm using the one from A07677, and if you, let me zoom in so you can see both of them. Okay, they do match, I think. Yep. So now I can safely say yes, okay? So now you're connected, well, connection closed, something is wrong, let me try again. Yeah, it is not connected, okay? So any question about 
how to connect using SSH from a window or, or a Mac. Okay, that one is done. Now let me close that window. Now, if you do want to do it from a Windows machine, then the step is longer. Okay, the step is longer because uh, you have to install a secure uh, SSH client. And if you go to putty.org, and there's a link for you to download a putty. Uh, so this is something that you want to install on your own computer. But if you do it from any GVSU lab, putty client is already installed there. Okay. So let me just uh, assume that Putty has been installed on your machine. So then you can just follow the instruction how to install Putty from there. So then the next step is to run Putty. And now you need to type in the host name again. The host name will be the same. And EOS 20 CIS GFSU ADU and then click open okay and again uh, you have to confirm that the fingerprint matches what we have on the web page is basically the same step and uh, I can just confirm yes so now it is asking you to log in as so then you can type in your user ID and I just type my user ID and then I'm going to type my password and you're connected okay so, question about Putty. Now, there is a limit, there's a limit of making one connection per minute. Okay? If you connect from outside Grand Valley domain, there's a limit of one connection per minute. Now, to avoid that limit, then you want to set up a VPN. And for student, I believe the VPN is vpn.student.gvsu.edu, okay? And because it's different from uh, for faculty. So vpn.student.gvsu.edu, and yep. So you have to type in your gvsu user ID and gvsu password, not the EOS password. It may take a while to get connected, and then, then you will see a pop-up window, and then once you see the address of your virtual connection is something like 148.61 something, then that's a sign that now your machine is part of the VPN of Grand Valley, and after you're inside your VPN, then you're, uh, you're able to make any connection, there's no limit of one minute per Per, uh, connection per user okay so any question about uh, how to connect uh, using VPN using putty using uh, SSH and there is one more utility that I want to show you before I move on to uh, the next topic uh, in my agenda and that is how to copy between your local machine and your EOS account. There's a program, if you uh, install it together under Putty uh, Installer, you will get another program called WinSCP. So WinSCP is a window secure copy. Okay, so with window SCP, the step is basically the same. You have to log in and I already have my, my uh, EOS account set up here, but if you don't have that, uh, and then you, ne you need to say login, and then you need to tap in the user ID and host name as usual. So let's say I just uh, use the login screen, and um, again, this is Win SAP is a Windows program. It's not a Mac program. And now you will see two panels. The left hand side is your local machine, and the right hand side is your EOS account. So then you can do copy files or move files either from here to here or from here to here, okay? So either way. And let's say if you want to copy a file, uh, you can just select one. And let's say I just make up something here. I do want to copy a file from, uh, from EOS to my local machine. So you just highlight the file. And then after that, you can just say copy or move down there, okay? So this is how you 
move and copy files between your EOS account and your uh, local machine. And how do you do the same, the same copy or move uh, from a Mac or Linux? You don't have to run any uh, client, you just say SCP, okay? So if, let's say if I do want to copy some file from my EOS account to my local machine, then you will say something like this. Okay, this is kind of long. Let's say I want to copy a file from my EOS account. Edu. Let me zoom it in. Uh, because following the user ID and uh, file name, uh, no, uh, host name, and then at the end of the host name, you have to use a colon to uh, specify your file name. Let's say I want to copy a file, and let's say you have a file that, uh, a JPEG file that you want to copy to a local machine, and you can just, can just simply like uh, say it, uh, typing, uh, type like that. Okay? So with this example, um, my remote file is dulimart.jpg on my home directory on in my EOS account, and I'm going to copy it as a local file image that JPEG. And you just press enter and your file is copied. Okay. Okay, any question about using remote copy, remote shell, secure shell, putty, 